Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Tiger Gaming here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a video of the new Christmas update for GTA 5 Online. I'm pretty sure it's on both previous gen and uh, next gen, but not totally sure. It could be just next gen. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, it's just going to be on the new vehicles that are um, in the Christmas update, and I'll just be showing you guys uh, one car at a time. Uh, for now, and uh, yeah, like in each video, it'll just be on one car because if I did it on all of them, it'd be like way too long. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, start off with the Vapid Slam Van, which is like a uh, classic pickup truck. And um, oh, yeah, I'll just quickly show you the other vehicles as well. Yeah, they've I think they've only added vehicles and with this update and uh, some new weapons. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think they really added anything else, but yeah, we've got the Bravado Rat Truck, the Vapid Slam Van, um, the Dubachi du Massacro uh, race car, and the Dinka Jester race car. Those are both the race car editions of those cars, and uh, yeah, they're quite pricey as you can see. Yeah, let's uh, start by doing a review of the Slam Van. If you guys can tell already from uh, the picture of that Slam Van, it looks exactly like the... Uh, Classic tow truck that's in uh, GTA uh, single player. And, um, yeah, I was really honestly, like, hoping that um, there would be an option maybe uh, on the purchase menu to purchase it with the tow truck attachment, like the hook and the arm and all that. Or uh, maybe an upgrade option in the shop that would let you do that, but unfortunately they don't do that, which really sucks. Because uh, I really wanted to get the tow truck in GTA 5 online and I uh, had no idea how to do it. And I couldn't really find any glitches uh, of how to duplicate cars into next gen um, uh, for Xbox One. So, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't do that. But yeah, here it is without the uh, tow uh, crane thing in the back. And uh, yeah, it still is quite nice, and it still uh, has a lot of smoke coming out of it, just like the uh, classic tow truck version of it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how much smoke comes out. It's pretty cool if you rev the engine. So like clouds of smoke coming out of it. And it actually sounds really nice. They put in like the monster truck engine in this thing, because it sounds like a monster truck. I'll rev it a bit here for you guys. Yeah, as you can see guys, it sounds really good, and uh, yeah, let's go and uh, upgrade this thing. Sorry if you guys heard that, that was one of my neighbors coming home in their uh, souped up BMW. It's really loud. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry people. One thing that's uh, not so great about this truck is its braking is extremely horrible. And when this thing is fully upgraded, it drifts like insanely crazy. Like this thing, you don't even have to try and drift. It'll just start drifting everywhere you go. So yeah. Wow, look at that. That's pretty sick. Another uh, new feature that they've added in next gen is you can always find these uh, fully upgraded cars everywhere. And usually uh, once in a while there's one parked right outside of uh, LS Customs. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's uh, upgrade this thing. So yeah, pretty much uh, you can't change the exhaust or any body features on this truck, which really sucks. It's all just the uh, custom um, performance upgrades. That's all you can do to this truck, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the truck horn because that sounds pretty nice. Then headlights, xenon, obviously, and uh, do full layout. I'm going to do... Red underbody color uh, neon lights because, uh, yeah, it looks quite nice with the color that I'm gonna do. And uh, for our primary colors, oh no, we're not gonna do chrome, just gonna do black. And our secondary colors, we're gonna do classic again, and then Torino red. The main reason I like do, uh, switching like the black from the top to bottom is so that, um, when I do the uh, wheels, I like to do them red to match the top of the car, so it kind of goes nicely. And uh, yeah, so that's the main reason why I chose to do that. 
But yeah, we're gonna go with a uh, low rider and uh, pretty much try and match the stock wheels that are on this thing because I kind of like them. I don't know. They seem pretty nice, so I'll just leave them on there. Like I'll switch them to those wheels because they look quite similar. And uh, yeah, we'll put them red because they match the top of the car, so that looks nice. And I also love doing low rider wheels so you can do this because I think this looks awesome on uh, older style cars. They won't shoot these out. So, yeah, it's very nice. Do some red tire smoke. And then completely tint out the windows because I think that looks quite nice as well. And, uh, yeah, I believe that's everything. That was a lot faster than the first time I did this. <laughs> yeah, here it is, guys. The, uh, I forget what make this thing is, actually. But it's the uh, new Slam Van pickup truck. It's a very strange name. I don't know why they called it that. But, yeah, I'll rev it again here. Now that it's fully upgraded, it'll sound a bit better, probably. Yeah, it sounds quite nice, as you guys can hear. And uh, we'll do a little donut. I mean, uh, burnout with these uh, this red tire smoke. Cause that does uh, look quite nice. And uh, with the next gen, they really uh, improve the smoke a lot. Like it kind of like clouds out from the tire wells, which is quite nice as well. Quite a nice feature. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys here quickly how well this thing drifts. Like you literally do not even have to put, um, like press the A button at all to uh, go into a drift or press the skid button. You can just drift it so easily and I'm horrible at drifting so I can't really show you guys the best, uh, like show you guys the best drift possible but you get an understanding of how easy it is to drift this thing. Like, it's no problem drifting. Very, very easy. Like, it just like starts to power slide like automatically and then you can just go into a nice drift. Can't really get a good one going here though because I'm a fail at driving. Come on, let's try and get a good drift. Ah, oh, I can't do it. Especially like I'm like kind of sideways to my TV right now, so I can't really see properly. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the review of the uh, Slam Van, guys. It is quite a nice truck. Um, oh yeah, I'll do a quick uh, interior review so you can check out the interior of this thing. If you do decide to buy it for online or anything like that, yeah, nice uh, kind of classic looking interior. It's quite nice. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace, guys.